Today we take a look at one of those rare individuals who died on the same day as having been born, but years apart. One was John Banner who played the famed Sergeant Schultz on Hogan's Heroes, but John is not the subject of today's celebration, John Harrison is. John was ultimately the winner of the X Prize that was issued in 1714 by an act of the British Parliament. A prize of £20,000 was offered for a solution, which could find longitude to within half a degree. When a ship is at sea, it is rather easy to know how far north or south one is, but knowing how far one was east and west was the problem. The best solution was to know the correct time in two different places. Knowing high noon was easy to know where a person was, but knowing what time it was back in England was the difficult part. For example, if a captain knew that it was high noon where he was, and exactly midnight in London, then he would know that he was exactly one halfway around the planet. Knowing the exact time elsewhere was the problem and the prize money was put up to help solve the problem. All sorts of crazy solutions were put forth by the money-hungry public. Some were quackish and others were more scientific. For example, Ale Rahmer tried to collect the prize money by making a chart of exactly when the moons of Jupiter would go behind the planet or emerge. From this, he noticed that there was a lag of about 16 minutes when Jupiter was on the other side of the Sun from Earth. He was then the first person to calculate the speed of light, and he missed it by that much. Another person said that he had a magic powder that would heal a dog painfully from a distance. By sprinkling the powder on some hair of the injured dog, it would yelp. All one needed to do was take the dog on the ship, keep its wound from healing, and at high noon in London each day, someone would sprinkle some magic powder on the hair of the dog, and then the ship's captain would know that it was high noon in London, when the dog cried out in pain. This turned out to be a sham, as you might have suspected. To illustrate this, the dog was shocked by a confederate when the powder was sprinkled on the hair of the dog. No prize money was collected. Several other crazy ideas have been documented in the wonderful book Longitude by Deva Sobel. John Harrison was a clockmaker extraordinaire. He made a mechanical clock that would keep accurate time on a rocking ship. After years of trials and tribulations, he was successful and collected his prize, which would be more than $2 million in today's money. Encourage innovation.